Well, Florida may soon have its own version of the so-called heartbeat bill to ban nearly all abortions. A Republican lawmaker wants the state to mirror Texas, and today he introduced a bill that would prevent doctors from performing the procedure once a fetal heartbeat is detected. Fox 13's Brianna Aradada joining us live in Tampa. Now, this bill has no exclusions. That's right, no exceptions for rape or incest. Yeah, that's right, Cynthia, and the bill is definitely as strict or labeled to be strict like Texas, and supporters say that it protects life while opponents call it an attack on women. Florida's proposed Heartbeat Act faces a fight. Wednesday, State Representative Webster Barnaby of Deltona filed House Bill 167 to ban nearly all abortions if a doctor detects a fetal heartbeat. That usually happens around six weeks, often before a woman knows she's pregnant. No comments at this time. Thank you. The legislation models the strict law in Texas. It allows doctors to make an exception if there's a medical emergency threatening a woman's life, but there are no exceptions for incest or rape. We'll follow our own lead and again uh, hear from all sides, have a real um, deep conversation about, about the, uh, the balancing of interests on both sides and, and land in a place that I hope moves us in a, in a direction towards the pro-life position. Women's rights advocates say they saw this coming. We have seen such an outpouring of outrage from our supporters. Planned Parenthood's Laura Goodhue says abortion is a part of reproductive health care as a whole. It's also outlaws abortions for everyone, yeah, you know, termination of pregnancies in hospitals where a very wanted pregnancy um, and something goes terribly wrong when you have an anatomy scan at 20 weeks and, you know, something goes wrong. The nonpartisan nonprofit Institute for Women's Policy Research studied the economic impact of restrictive reproductive health laws. It found Florida risks losing $6.6 .6 billion a year from women leaving the workforce, lost wages and productivity. We know that when women have choices, uh, they make better decisions about their careers. Um, they have better career advancement, mobility. They're less likely to live in poverty. Children are less likely to be impoverished. Republicans signaled support for cutting access ahead of the legislative session next year. It's a hard thing once once you get weeks in to, to argue that that's not a human life. And Democratic lawmakers condemn the bill, but they say that they recognize it will likely pass. So those lawmakers are saying that they're going to try to water down the controversial bill if they can. The Florida legislature is back in session in January. Cynthia? We're going to be hearing a lot about this all the way through, that's for sure. Thank you, Brianna.